What is going on everybody? This is Stryker. Welcoming you to episode 11 here of the West of Loathing. Now y'all gonna have to excuse my bad breath, but you can't smell it anyways because... Well, I think you understand why you can't. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, in between last episode and this episode, it's been a couple of days, I went to work and did some other stuff with my life, but I got myself this extract, which will fully open my third eye. I did that by, let's see, coming here to Shroom Cave, going back over to Fort of Darkness, getting the uh, the one scientist guy to give me the extract from the mushroom, and then right back over here to the Shroom Cave. So, we should be able to come in here, and then we can take this and drink it. You swallow the extract! The world turns inside out as your mind replaces it. Awesome. So now I gotta figure out where that little spot is. There it is. And this should be the jar of jelly beans. Hell yeah. I got a strange lamp. You stow it in your pack. Fortunately, it isn't real lava. Can I do anything with this? Your great grandkids are going to love this kind of music. Nothing else in here for me? I don't think so. Comfy looking sofa. Okay. So now, we can not, not character, sorry. Map, we can go to Roy Bean's house. No pop-ups, so we're good. We're not we're not about to die out here for no reason, which will, which will be cool. Got it right here? Well, I'll be jiggered. I didn't figure on seeing any of them jelly beans again. And here you brought back all three jars. I ain't got much to reward you with other than a handshake, Peggy. But maybe I'll be able to pay you back somehow. And then I come over here. I need this. Okay. Uh, does this jelly bean really cost 6,000 meat? Well, normally it does, yes, but I guess seeing as how you helped me out with all them bandits and goblins and damn dirty hippies, let's call her five. Five meat? Really? Yeah, I reckon better buy it in a hurry before I change my mind. So buy it. Fantastic. Inventory. Take this. Eat it. Whew. We're finally out of that nightmare. We also have six different effects going on right now. So that's cool. We're about to end up dying and having to restart our progress and all of these effects. So that's awesome. But now we can take our travel over here to Frisco, all the way on the left side of the map, and see where that leads us. You're ambushed by a cow who is hiding behind a nearby billboard. Big billboard, big cow. 103, holy crap. Okay, 182. So we already know what to do here. We gotta get beefy. Now, what does this thing do? Three damage. That's cool. I guess we're going to surrender because there's no way I'm going to beat this random cow that just whooped my ass. Okay, we actually didn't die. I figured we were going to die and end up back in our bed. Alright, so let's talk to this guy. You gotta get that train back, this is embarrassing. This me points to the set of, or to that set of deep ruts off to the side of the railroad tracks, which should be over here on the right side. Norton's taking the train off somewhere in the desert. You have to follow him. I'll see what I can do. It should be these things right here. But I am going to continue further into Frisco to see if there's anything else for me to do, unless I find that train. All right, what's up with this guy? Well, I'll be a new face. I'll include you. Make yourself at home. Thanks, I'm Peggy, new to town. I've been helping Manifest Destiny get the rail tracks laid. This, this is not a new face. We, we met this guy. He's the one that told us to get the jelly bean, right? Uh, we're very, very close, but haven't quite finished it yet. Sounds like you could use a drink. Uh, let's see. What's with the huge brawl going on over there? Sure. Oh, them fellas always blowing off steam. I just let them go ahead and get their aggressions out. As so long as they keep over there, away from what furniture I've got left. What can you tell me about Frisco? Or is it Frisco? Yeah, Frisco. Oh, it's a fine town. Fella named Samson Frisco founded it way back when the mines first opened out this way and everyone caught the fever. Mining fever? Yep, that kind you get from breathing too much dirt. Frisco was a doctor, you see? Ah, gotcha. And let's see, what do you have? What does this do? Muscle by 9, Mr. Cali by 9, Moxie by 9. Those are pretty cool. I am going to hold off on doing that, though, because I have no idea what or if I'm going to need anything, basically, moving forward. So I'm just going to keep everything that I've got going on. Pretty sure those are equipped, yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna hold on to it all. Ain't no biggie there. So we can leave, and I don't think we can interact with any of these other houses. Nope, and nope. Okay. 
So now, we're gonna have to follow those tracks. Now there isn't anything that jumped up. There was that one random mine that we can always visit when we're kinda stuck. Or if we just want a side quest as we kinda finish this game up here. But, we should be able to follow these tracks. Excuse me sir, excuse me Steve. Follow the tracks. You jump onto Crazy Steve's back and ride like the wind, following the railroad tracks back into the desert. When you finally catch up, you stand up on Crazy Steve's saddle and leap onto the back of the train like a real badass, just barely catching the edge of the roof and pulling yourself up. Here's hoping you don't have to do that again. Your stuntman could have been killed. 10 out of 10. Phew. All right, so a top stolen train. Let's just go ahead and do this, you know, one side to the other side. Nope, don't, I don't need to hop off the back at all. I can't crack it, though. I don't have safe cracking. Okay, nothing here. What's up? Uh, take the train back by force. So can I continue going forward here? No. No. Okay, so I'm gonna have to take the train back by force. Either that or run out the back to get off this train. I stole this train fair- wait, what was that? Hold up. Norton, say that again. I stole this train fair and square and I'm not giving it back. Mental birds. Okay. Well, we're gonna get beefy. Get 12 extra muscle. Which means we should at least be on par. Okay, 39 to 48. Not- not great. It's not great. Okay. So, I can heal. So I'll still have a bunch of action points left. Doesn't do a whole lot. This won't end your turn either. I mean, our best bet is gonna be to hit him with this, but the, the problem with that is we're gonna take damage. So we can do this thing right here. Two action points, we get a free turn. All right, now he's at 142. And zero spooky damage as well. I mean, it comes down to, I just gotta throw a ton of dynamite at him, right? Cause I don't need more action points. That's not gonna help anything, right? I guess I could use this a couple more times. I have four action points, and I need three of them for this thing. So I can I can sniff that, get one extra. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna figure out how to do this. I got five action points, I can do this for another ten free damage. Okay. I can only use that once. Okay, so now at this point we're still doing 48. We'll gain 2 AP. I mean, I could continue to do that, but it's only going to do 10 at a time, so... Let's go ahead and Trotus. And... Trotus. And we gotta do this... A couple more times. And then we can take out Norton. So that should be 52, and what does this do? It's like 39 to 48? Yeah, okay. So, there we go. One more dynamite. That's why, that's why you always stock up on stuff that you can. We'll go ahead and hit him with the, the triple combo. I've had just about enough of you. Okay, well, you kicked this whole Norton problem down the road a ways. I mean, down the train a ways, I mean. He ran a ways further down the roof of the train. Didn't solve my problem. Oh, good, somebody's built a rickety-ass bridge between those train cars. It's not very safe and not panic-inducing at all. Okay, I'm gonna go down this ladder because it's the first one over here. Yikers! Let me not do that. Can I go down this side? Okay, these guys are so preoccupied with the door to the rear of the car that they don't notice you prowling around behind them. The one in the back has a shiny key attached to his belt. It must be the key to the dining car because it has dining car stamped onto it in big enough letters to read from here. So I can ambush them. I don't have 50 moxie? Holy crap. Ooh, I might be able to. What goes in a spleen? Or, can I- ooh. See, I'd have to do this a bunch of times, yeah. Ugh, I'm short, I'm just short. No! Okay, I need one more moxie. What do I have? Is there anything clothing-wise? This go- hold on. This goes on this thing, right? So can I do that? Hold up. Redo that. Aha! Aha! Okay, inventory, and then now I need to go back and put my Halloway's pin back on. I was unfortunate that we had to spend that much on Moxie, but... We'll take less damage, so that's good. What does this do? It does 25? That's not even worth it. Um... 
disable them for one round. So it, I think it will, over time, do more. I like to use this all the time, so let's just go ahead and increase that. And I don't really care about Glamour. So let's go ahead and get up out of here, shall we? Whoa, mind the gap! Wait, do I, do I just go this way? Aha! There we go. Dining car. Investigate. You've never wanted anything more in your life than you want to lift up this dome and see what's under it, but you're not sure you can muster the amount of culinary expertise it requires to properly reveal a dish of such presumed quality. I... Ta-da! Okay, well, I guess I can't do anything with it. Ooh, nice flowers. Okay. Can, can I put down the chair? Can I do that? Table looks like it got jostled around in some kind of scuffle, but the flowers are still standing. Okay, so the door is welded shut, so I have to go back up. Is there any way to get me up to 50? Mysticality, hell no. Alright, so let's get on out of here. Again, people really shouldn't refer to themselves in the third person. Correct his grammar? What did he say? Ha, you can't stop Emperor Norton? 138. Did he? I feel like he did less damage last time. Anyways, we're gonna get beefy, per usual. Okay, so 48 to 57. That is definitely higher. I don't think I need to do that at all. But I can punch him. Because healing's not going to matter, because we're getting... We're, we're literally making it so he can't hurt us. So I can punch him again. And I can punch him uh, one more time. And then I've got one of these things that gives me 2 AP. I can consume that. Okay, now I've got my three action points, and now we got a Trodes. All the way until, what is, What was this? 57. 48 to 57. I'm gonna have to end up getting up off of here just to go back and get a bunch of supplies, and then come back and fight him again. Alright, 61. 41. Okay, we got it. I probably should have been putting points into this just to begin with, because this is like my main attack for everything anyways. Norton went flying off the side of the train. No way he'll make a dramatic recovery from that event. You gain 60 XP. You should head up to the cab and see if you can find some way to steer this thing back to Frisco. I like it. Okay, let's go ahead and climb on down. Ooh, what is this? Maybe you better read the note? On the wall first. I tried. It did not work. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. It, it popped up for a split second. Here we go. Note says, I've hidden the key to the forward passenger car in my luggage to make it easier for me to murder everyone in the sleeper car. Sincerely, the train murderer. P.S. Come to the roof of the sleeper car in the next 55 minutes if you want a murdering. Okay. <laughs> you open the door to the first passenger compartment. The sole occupant is a little boy about 10 years old wearing a blue suit and knickerbockers. Oh, uh, hello ma'am, is something wrong? Nothing you need to worry about, kid. I'm on the trail of... a bad guy. Do you mean a murderer, ma'am? I'm pretty sure there's one on this train, and they don't call me the world's greatest detective for nothing. What's your name, kid? I probably shouldn't say, ma'am. There might be a copyright thing. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I can handle this. Just let me ask you one question, and then you should lock yourself... or you should lock your door after I'm gone. I understand. What would you like to know? Are you on the roof of the train? Excuse me? The murderer left a note saying he's on the roof of the train. Are you? I... No, ma'am. I'm in the passenger's compartment. Okay, you open the door to the second passenger compartment. Look inside. There's a portly man in a dapper gray suit with a tiny, meticulously waxed mustache. And not... Like, and, and not, I'd like to clarify, an enormous bushy one. So it's very, very thin, very pencily. French. Excusez-moi. French. Is there some way I might be of assistance, madame? French. Sorry to bother you, but there's a murderer on the loose and I'm checking the passenger compartment. Sacre bleu! French. This is very serious, mon ami. Allow me to pro-offer? Is that just pro-offer? Proffer? I don't know. To the use of my little gray cells. I don't know what that means, but no thank you. Just let me ask you one question. Why certainly? Are you on the roof of the train? No, that's right. Okay, cool. 
Been there, done that. You open the door to the third passenger compartment and find nobody inside. Hmm, since a note from the murderer said he was going to be on the roof of the train, that means he couldn't be in his passenger compartment. And since there's no one inside this passenger compartment, whoever this comp compartment, Jesus, belongs to can only, by process of elimination, be on the roof, which means the person who rented this compartment must be the murderer. Huh. <sighs> Probably. The only thing you find in here is a luggage ticket, though. It has a number three on it. Okay, might as well check the fourth one, right? The only passenger in here is a middle-aged woman who is writing something in her notebook. She looks up at you as you enter and greets you with a friendly northeastern accent. Why, hello. Is there something you need, dear? Sorry to bother, ma'am. And I don't want to alarm you, but there is a murderer aboard the train and I'm investigating. A murderer on a train? My goodness! That would be a wonderful premise for my next novel. Sure, why not? Anyways, I just need to ask you one question. Go right ahead. According to my evidence, the murderer's on the train. Er, no? Okay, cool. Thanks. Uh, would you like a meat pie? They're homemade. No thanks. You just have to, you just have a look at this playing card before you go. Find bag number three. Oh, I guess that is a luggage cart. Huh. Okay. And it has the key to the forward passenger car train inside. There's a very strong corroborating evidence that your theory of who the murderer is. So I now have the passenger train key. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. Okay. Ah! It looks like, like it's the murderer. Looks like the murderer's pretty fast. Okay, so, beef up, per usual, 52 muscle, and he's got 105 muscle. So I'm gonna do three total damage. How the hell am I supposed to beat this guy? Because I can do this to disable his, or drop his muscle by four, but that's not gonna do a damn thing either. I don't see a way to beat this guy. Uh, no. I really don't. So, we'll just go ahead and hit him with the melee. And then die, I suppose. Okay. He murders you all the way back to Frisco. Pass out, and I wake up. Okay, so. Passenger keycar. Probably should have just gone underneath him instead of... The, the other way around. Oh, oh, well, I guess. Okay, inventory. Do we have anything that I want to... Oh, what is this? Use it. Can I just use it? Oh. Oh. You, like, put little collectibles in here, I guess. Desku, can I reinsult myself? Aha! Now I got angry effect. Which is good. That boosts my stuff. Uh, I don't know what any of that crap is. Cannon loading for idiots. Nope. Not gonna help. And I don't think I really need anything from any of this stuff. Necromancer, though. Do we have anything else that's different in here? Okay, here we go. So we found the cryptic note before, so we knew that it was somewhere by Hellstrom. Okay, so you found that discipline slip that mentioned dangerous mushrooms that said that there was a patch of Mortis Oster Ostritas near the lair. Death oysters! They only groan. Okay, they only groan. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not wrong here. I'm not wrong here. I'm just double checking. They only groan in a narrow band between the big canyon and the mountains. Okay. So now what we can do? So we can go to our map. And we can go visit this mine. Because I don't know what's in here. We might as well. Also, the fact that my shirt is like invisible when it's blue is kind of funny. I don't know why my green screen's doing that. Because green screen. So, sorry I'm slightly opaque, but what is this dude? Hell no. Okay, is there anything I can snag over here? You aren't one of us. Be gone from this place. I kind of want to attack. I probably shouldn't have attacked, huh? If I can beef up to 41. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit it. Okay. Still gonna take a lot of those. I just lost 115 to Spooky? Are you joking? Uh. Okay. Well, I'm probably gonna die here. I just don't wanna surrender. Minus three to all stats. Got it. Um.
Can't you can't fight a damn thing in this place. <sighs> okay, let's just go ahead and intimidate her. Okay, uh, so blah blah blah. You dare tell me where I can and cannot go? Me, among the highest echelons of our master servants, you dare! Wow, geez, okay, sorry, I guess I didn't recognize you without your mask on. Go on in. Well, that's helpful, I guess. We'll go ahead and harvest that. And we can harvest some of it. Okay. What the hell is happening in here? Hello there, fellow cultists! What? Go away! Well, that's not very friendly. This isn't a knitting circle. Where's your mask anyway? You hate- did it just say that? You- you hate the spiral? The spiral makes you uncomfortable. Oh, it repeated that. Aww. What does this guy want? What happened to your mask? I modified it. It made drinking difficult. What happened to your mask? Er, I'll be right back. Okay. I don't know what the hell this place- Bruh. Hi, what's up? I- I got some rocks. Yeah? The master gave them to me. He wanted me to have them. Okay, what's cool about them? They're mine. Don't touch them. Hey. You okay? You seem kind of injured. I fell. I fell down. But the master picked me back up. That's... Nice. He'll pick us all back up. He'll pick you back up. What the hell is this place? Hi, how's it going? New mask? Who dis? <laughs> oh, after taking 115 spooky damage, I don't know if I want to try to fight anybody else. It says, Dear Jeff, the big guy says to stay out of here. Praise be Roberto. Sincerely, Other Jeff. Nothing over here? Okay. Hi, how's it? Shh, shh, shh. I'm listening. To what? The master, of course. Can't you hear him? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Why's this dude got a square mask? Hi, why is your mask different? Because I'm the leader of this cell. Be hold on, hold on. Because I'm the leader of this cell? How can you be down here and not know that? Yeah, emphasis? Look, I passed seven different guys to get here. Obviously, if I weren't meant to be here, that would be impossible. I suppose? So who's this master everyone's talking about? Our great dark master Roberto, and you sure you're supposed to be on here? Sure, sure. It's fine. We can just continue moving forward. Alright, so this, this is what I think is the master's area. Oh! That's an El Vibrato thing! Uh... This one. Hey, I got a headband. Nice, minus five mysticality. That's that's not cool. Nothing. Nothing. So I can't I can't just like manipulate the system or anything like that. Big cylinder on top of this. I will go ahead and take that as well. And there's a bunch of paper cards on this table. Uh, scrounge through here, and we got some scraps. Nothing else? No? Okay. Can I go back over here and use the punch cards? No, I cannot. I think I have to go back to that other one to use the punch cards to learn more of the language. I kind of want to try fighting one of these people. Oh, I can headband him? What? I can't hear him. What happened? I can't hear him. What do I do? Why? Why don't you go outside and get some air? Huh. Can I? Oh, I, ca I can't. I can't headband him. Can I headband you? No. I can't headband anybody else, just that one guy? I kind of want to fight this one because he's injured, right? That should make it easy, right? I don't, I don't think this is going to go so hot. I don't think it's going to go so hot. Well, if we get him 51 three times in a row... We can kill him. That hurt. That definitely hurt. Uh... Because even if I take down his muscle by four, it's not really going to do anything. Yeah, because I need to get another attack out. Is this going to be one of those things like the spooky fingers? Smite the unbeliever! Oh, it actually hurt me that time. Okay, cool. That was fine. That was fun. Okay, so. 
character. I don't know what the hell we're gonna do about defeating the, the dude that's on the train. Can I just wander? Is that actually an option? Arg! A shirtless man in a tight, stretchy pants charges at you out of nowhere. In tight, stretchy pants. Did I say in a tight, stretchy? Probably. No more! No more mushrooms! No more yogurt! No more exploring in my inner conscious while running in place! I'm gonna kill something! Kill it and eat it! I'll fight this guy. Yikes! Why the hell is everyone so goddamn strong in this game? What the hell? Okay, so never ever try to wander ever again. I want to go back out to Frisco. And I'm going to need... Oh, well... I'll just, I'll just leave the path, because I don't have the mysticality for it. I'm gonna... Okay, thanks. I need to go back and talk to the dude that's at the bar. And then I can get some muscle drinks. Because those are plus nines, right? What have you got? Yeah. Okay, I need those. Inventory. Drink this. Okay. Drink that. Okay. I don't think there's anything else I can really use. I've got stomach capacity, though. I don't know what goes into the stomach. What what goes into the stomach? Does that go into the stomach? Cool. I'll give myself some armor, because why not? I have no idea what goes to the spleen, though. Okay. So now let's try that again, and we'll go see if we can fight the murderer. Because if not, I know what the hell I'm gonna do. 330 XP. Deals 5 more damage. Forms, it gets 7 damage. So that's cool. That's cool. Let's try this again then. Okay. Alright. A top stolen train. So we can go all the way up and over here. Climb down. Go this a ways. And then I had to climb up here, because that other door was welded shut. And I can come down here. This is a passenger car. Can I just continue forward? I can! You finally make it to the passenger car, one car back from the locomotive, which may be confusing if you thought locomotive meant the entire train. So I could just say that the engine, except that also refers to the engine itself, that is, the actual steam engine that makes the train go, and not just the frontmost car of the train. Anyways, you're in the passenger car. Suddenly, Norton clambers? Clambers in the window? Sure. He must have dramatically clung to the slide of the... Slide? To the side of the train in order to reveal at the last minute that he hadn't actually been defeated. Dang it, he runs into the, uh, well, the frontmost car of the train and locks the door. What a jerk. Hmm. Maybe you could get some of the passengers to help break the door down and arrest him, or maybe you should just kick the door down and shoot him until he can't bother anybody anymore. This professional-looking guy is frowning at a sheet of paper and occasionally scribbling on it with a pencil and then erasing what he just wrote. He's too absorbed in his work to respond to you. This woman just ignores you. This guy is totally panicking, which is a word that I just... Er, pan... Panticking? Pranticking. Pranticking, which is a word I just made up that means ranting in a frantic panic. Everyone else is ignoring him as hard as they can. Hey, buddy, you okay? Okay, well, that doesn't matter. It's all a lie. We're never going to get to Frisco. Frisco probably doesn't even exist. They've been testing to see how long we can survive on complimentary peanuts and bottled water, and now they're driving us into the desert on some kind of government camp. They're going to use our organs to fuel alien flying machines. Whew. The woman is focusing on her knitting and ignoring the general commotion. She must have been knitting the whole trip because the scarf she's made could accommodate a whole marching band. Oh, God damn it! Excuse me, ma'am. Whatever it is, I don't want no part of it. I keep myself to myself, and I have no desire to get involved. Thank you very much. Come on, this is important. A crazy guy stole the train, and I need help arresting him, and you'll never get to Frisco. I'm sure everything will sort itself out in the end, and in the meantime, I will have plenty of wool. This overweight man, stick figure, in a three-piece suit and bowler hat is probably a bunker or some a banker. Why would he be a whole- he's a big ol' unit! He's probably a banker or something. His eyes are closed and his posture is relaxed, but the clench of his jaw betrays his aggravation? Sure. He ignores all of your attempts at communication. 
This man is too busy ignoring his daughter to ignore you. This little girl is peering out the window of the train, clearly bored out of her mind. Hi there, busy? No, well, all of my toys and friends are in our luggage and it's boring and I hate it. Do you want me to- do you want to help me with something really important? Huh, like what? Well, a bad guy took over the engine card. I need some people to help me break down the door and arrest him. What? Lady, I'm just a little girl. Hey, now, that's not a good attitude. Don't ever let anyone tell you that you can't do anything just because you're a girl. But, hmm, okay, yeah, we'll bust in that crook's face. Wow, that's the spirit, but you gotta pay me in advance. Jeez, you're learning a little too fast. Alright, what do you want? Um, I like stuffed animals. It's like it's flipping through a book titled Birds of the Western Territory. Since most of the place is a desert, it isn't a very long book. She notices your hat and turns away. She wants to have nothing to do with you. Okay, well... Can, can I get... Can I, can I get luggage with, with the stuffed animal? I have no idea where to even get a stuffed animal from, so forget about it. I ain't got time for this little girl and her stupid little stuffed animals. Alright, confront Norton. You pound on the door. Requires four passengers, nice. <laughs> you pound on the door to the locomotive, or engine car, or cab, or whatever. Open up, Norton! No! Alright, then I'm coming in. Oh yeah, you and what army? You don't get an army, that's the pro... You don't get an army. So I need to boost my HP to 183 just so I can live one turn. Okay. Now we're we're gonna we're gonna call it here. I'm gonna need to go and do some some finding of of items and stuff. I need to go purchase some some stuff. I need to sell some stuff. So I will be back for the next episode. We're going to take on Norton again, and hopefully get the damn train. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all next time.